it is going to continue to be a, a serious situation uh, for some time. While it continues to rain here in Winnipeg, it's most needed farther north as an over 35,000 hectare fire that forced the evacuation of over 550 people in Cranberry Portage rages on. This as Premier Wab Canoe visits northwestern Manitoba to address the crisis. The Premier saw firsthand the devastation the wildfire is causing after landing at the Flin Flon Airport located within 10 kilometers of the fire line before being escorted to Baker's Narrows by RCMP. That's where the Manitoba Wildfire Service established an incident command center to monitor the blaze, currently burning north of Flin Flon and east of Cranberry Portage after dry lightning, drought conditions and high winds caused the fire, forcing hundreds to evacuate. It's pretty striking when you see, you know, trees that are decades old, completely on fire. Uh, and um, you see folks on the ground working tirelessly to, to fight the situation. And then you see that multiplied over such a large region. Evacuees packed up and fled to many places, including the Paw and Flin Flon, where reception centers were set up. But as of Tuesday, there was no guarantee they would be able to head back anytime soon, as the province expects this fire could last weeks. We'll be present to ensure that every resource goes out the door to fight fires this wildfire season. And every support that's necessary to support people while they're evacuated will go out the door as well. There is now more than 100 firefighters on scene in northwest Manitoba after the wildfire service enlisted support of 55 additional firefighters from Ontario and Saskatchewan. Our hope is that we'll be able to manage this situation and then, you know, lend a hand in other parts of the country in the future. Manitoba Hydro says they hope to have power restored to Cranberry Portage within the next few hours, while Sourdough Bay is now partly restored. In Winnipeg, Mitchell Ringo's City News.